Welcome back to Columbia, Missouri. Coach Shannon Welker talking to his team after an outstanding performance for them. They put up a season high 196.375. They do fall to the number three ranked team in the country, the LSU Tigers, who continue their streak of 197 plus scores. It got a little bit interesting down the stretch as uh, LSU had some mistakes on balance beam, Bridget. They made it interesting, but they still got the job done. But really the story is, I think, what Missouri did tonight and the steps they've taken. Absolutely. Missouri did an incredible job tonight. They really showed consistency, but now they need to go back into the gym and be more aggressive, be consistent and aggressive. And LSU, they really just need to be confident in their routines. They did a phenomenal job in warm-up, and then once the competition started, that balance beam it just worked them a little too hard. They had one mistake after another, so really keeping that momentum, even just for that event, is really going to be crucial for them. You know, one thing Jay Clark said to me before the competition is said, sometimes you're in the middle of the season, we kind of play down to our opponents. Not to take anything away from Missouri, but they're a much higher ranked team. And it looked like they did that a little bit on balance beam, but they did not do that on floor exercise, which really was the difference maker for the Tigers. No, LSU did a amazing job on this floor rotation. Huge tumbling, great sticks. I mean, it was one routine after another. The scores were there. I'm shocked we did not see a 10-0 on floor. I think the judges just don't like me. I've yet to be at a meet where I get to see a 10, and we've gotten some pretty perfect floor routines. Yeah, maybe it's your fault. It could be. Because my Hamburg right here, all around champion tonight. Maya Hambrick, unbelievable job. We can see the, the career high scores for LSU and the gymnasts that earned them. Maya Hambrick gets another all around title. The kid just keeps on rolling. She ties for the floor title as well, undefeated on that event. And 29 straight 197 pluses for LSU. And that is a streak of consistency that uh, a lot of teams would love. Now from this week, you know, where do these teams go? Obviously we know they go next weekend. They meet each other again in the Mardi Gras Invitational, LSU, Missouri, Arkansas, and George Washington. Mm -hmm. But what do they do from this point? They're in the middle of the season and what's important for them as they head down the home stretch? This is a really crucial time for them. You're mid-season. This is when a lot of the aches and pains really start to show themselves. So really keeping all the athletes safe, making sure that they are doing the right treatment, really taking precaution, but really working in the gym. They have a lot of things that they can go back and work on. Those landings, the little minor details are really going to pay off in the postseason coming up. I'll tell you what, gymnastics in the SEC, it's the ticket to watch. Friday Night Heights is the place to be, and we are going to see some great gymnastics down the stretch. Missouri certainly will be moving up the rankings. They fall tonight to LSU, but a great job from them, and certainly LSU will continue to build and hopefully stay healthy as they head to the postseason. So long from Columbia for Bridget Sloan. I'm John Roethlisberger. So long.